स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक नर्व एंड मसल फिजियोलॉजी एंड इन नर्व फिजियोलॉजी वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द डिफ्यूजन पोटेंशियल द नर्व पोटेंशियल वेस्टिंग मेम्रेन पोटेंशियल एंड द एक्शन पोटेंशियल सो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आवर वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक the membrane potentials caused by diffusion membrane potentials they are present in all the cell membranes of the body and especially the cells like nerve and muscle they develop rapidly uh, changing electrochemical impulses at their membranes which is used to transmit signals so the what is diffusion potential diffusion potential is caused by an ion concentration difference on the two sides of the membrane or we can say that it is the potential difference generated across the membrane when an ion diffuses down its concentration gradient it will be more clear from this diagram um it will show that how the diffusion potentials are developed this is a nerve fiber membrane and we suppose that it is uh, permeable only to the potassium ions and as we know that potassium is more inside than outside so potassium has a strong tendency to move outward because there is a concentration gradient of potassium from inside to outside so it has a strong tendency to move outward and when it goes out it carries positive charges outside and so creating electropositivity outside and leaving behind the anions that cannot leave the cell so it creates electronegativity inside the cell and now due to the movement of potassium a potential difference is generated because of the concentration difference of potassium between inside and outside and then this potential difference it uh, rises enough and then a point is reached when the further movement of the potassium is blocked and this is the nerve's potential we will discuss it afterwards and in a large nerve fiber this potential will be minus 94 millivolt this is the potential at which the movement of potassium towards the outside will be blocked now we will take another example of sodium here again another nerve fiber membrane which is uh, permeable only to sodium and as we know that sodium is more outside than inside so it has a tendency to move inside and when it moves inside sodium it creates positivity inside and negativity outside and then again a potential difference is generated because of the concentration difference between uh, of sodium uh, between inside and outside and that is how the diffusion potential is generated is because of the concentration difference of an ion between the two sides of the membrane and then again a point is reached when the further movement of the sodium is blocked this is the nerve's potential and this value will be in case of sodium it will be plus 61 millivolt because sodium is moving inside and it will uh, the inside will be getting positive so the value of the in case of uh, sodium it will be plus 61 millivolt now going back to the definition of diffusion potential uh, now it will be more easy for you to understand that it is the potential difference generated across the membrane when an ion diffuses down its concentration gradient or it is caused by an ion concentration difference on the two sides of the membrane there will be ion concentration difference of potassium between inside and outside and then a potential difference is created which is called the diffusion potential uh, now for the diffusion potential to develop there must be unequal distribution of ions across the membrane it means that there may be a concentration difference of ion so uh, then the diffusion potential will be developed then permeability is also important that the membrane must be permeable to one or more ions and the permeability is provided by the channel or pores in the lipid bilayer okay now the next topic is the nerve's potential what is nerve's potential i have told you this is the diffusion potential level across the membrane that exactly opposes the net diffusion of a particular ion through the membrane uh, remember that the nerve's potential is for a particular ion when the membrane is permeable only to a single ion then the potential which is developed it is called nerve's potential and uh, i just i have told you that um, when a potential difference is created between inside and outside and then this uh, potential difference it rises enough to block further movement of potassium towards the inside uh, to block the movement of potassium towards the outside so at that point where the movement of the potassium is blocked 
This is called the Nernst potential and its value is minus 94 millivolt in case of potassium and in case of sodium, it is plus 61 millivolt. Okay, now the uh, magnitude of the Nernst potential, it is determined by the ratio of specific ion on the two sides of the membrane. Uh, this is the Nernst equation. Uh, this, uh, EMF stands for the electromotive force and equal to plus minus 61 log concentration inside divided by concentration outside. So the magnitude is determined by the ratio of the specific ion on the two sides of the membrane. We have to measure the concentration of the ion inside as well as the concentration outside. And also uh, one more thing that uh, the, uh, the nurse potential is the potential which is always present inside the membrane. It is usually assumed that the potential outside it remains zero. And so the nurse potential is the potential which is present inside the membrane. And the sign, it may varies. It may be positive or it may be negative. Uh, like in case of uh, potassium, it will be negative when a positive ion, it is diffusing outward. For example, potassium, then the sign will be negative. And if the ion diffusing from inside to outside is a negative ion, then the sign will be positive. Mass potential, I've told you, it is for a single ion. When the membrane is permeable only to a single ion, then uh, there will be uh, the nurse potential. But if uh, the membrane is permeable to different ions, then for the calculation of different potential, we will use Goldman equation. The Goldman equation, here it is the Goldman equation, uh, electromotive force is equal to minus 61 into log. C stands for the concentration uh, and the P stands for the permeability. Um, this is the concentration of sodium inside and the product of uh, permeability of the sodium. Likewise, here is a potassium ions and the chloride ions. Uh, from this equation, there are some uh, few important points to remember. That first of all, uh, the sodium, potassium and the chloride, they are the most important ions in developing from this uh, equation. A uh, few po important points are there to remember that uh, sodium, potassium and chloride, they are most important ions involved in the development of membrane potential. Uh, the second thing is that the voltage is directly proportional to the membrane permeability. As you can see, for example, if the membrane has zero permeability to both potassium and chloride, then the membrane potential, it becomes entirely dominated by sodium. And the resulting potential will be equal to the nurse potential for the sodium. And the third is the concentration gradient. As you can see, this is C stands for the concentration gradient. The example is that, for, uh, that if the positive ions, for example, potassium, it diffuse outward. When the concentration is high inside, it will carry positive charges to the outside and leave negative charges inside. So it will create electronegativity inside. Likewise, uh, if we talk about the chloride, there will be the chloride ion gradient from outside to inside. So it will move from outside to inside. So it will create negativity inside the membrane. And the fourth important point is that the permeability of the sodium and potassium, it changes greatly during the transmission of nerve impulses, while the permeability of chloride will not change so much. Okay, this is all for today. Thank you so much, students.